Hello everybody, Skin Deep Beauty Vlogger here. I hope you're all really well. Today I'm filming a tag video and this is the lipstick tag. I was tagged to do this by Be Beautiful Blog One, whose channel I will link below. Do go ahead and check her out. She's fantastic, really great taste in products, particularly skincare. I've got the questions on my phone, so excuse me if I'm looking down a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So the first question is, how many lipsticks do you own? Now, I am a real lipstick addict. I love lipstick. I just feel that lipstick makes such a difference to the face. Like, if you get the right color, it can make you look so much more alive and healthy. Likewise, if you get the wrong color, I mean, I can't wear nude lipstick unless it has a hint of pink in it because it just makes me look dead. I am a little bit ashamed to admit that I must own over 100 lipsticks. I have over 20 red lipsticks alone. Um, which is ridiculous. I only have one mouth, but I can't help it. I do get a lot of these sent to me because of my job as a beauty writer as well, so I haven't purchased all of these. What was your first ever lipstick? I have no idea what the name of it was, but I believe it was a Rimmel lipstick that was a sort of mauve colour. It probably wasn't very flattering on me. I think I bought it with some birthday money. What is your most worn lipstick? Well, those of you that watch my channel regularly will know how much I adore the Revlon lip butters. I think they're definitely a product worth the hype. And I know that this, and I know that the shade Berry Smoothie number 50 is my most worn because it's something that I've repurchased about three, four times now, which I've never done with any other lipstick. Um, there is a swatch of it there. It's so easy to wear, you don't even need to use a mirror to apply it. Just slick it onto the lips and you're good to go. And it's such a pretty pink wearable shade that just makes me look more alive. It goes with many looks that I'm wearing as well, so it's a really great product. What is your favourite brand for lipstick? Well, I've already mentioned how much I love the Revlon Lip Butters. I think you can't beat a Chanel lipstick and I also really like the MAC lipsticks. I think it's nice that even though they're a little bit higher end, they still have a really nice sweet vanilla scent, so it's still fun. Uh, I've also been very impressed with the Dolce & Gabbana lipsticks. What is your favourite finish? I really like a glossy finish. It makes it feel comfortable on the lips and it saves me applying a separate gloss as well. In MAC, I would say my favourite finish is a cream sheen. And that brings me nicely on to the next question, which is, what is the last lip product you bought? The last higher-end lip product I bought was MAC Plumful. Despite having just said that I really like the cream sheen formulas, this is actually a lustre. It's a really pretty, sort of mauvey berry colour. Let's swatch for you there. Despite the name sounding quite autumnal, and believe me, I'm certainly not one to wish away summer. I love the summer. Um, it's actually a pretty wearable colour all year round because it's buildable, so you can wear it a little bit more sheared out or you can build it up for a more intense look. And the last drugstore lipstick I bought was another Revlon lip butter. I'm so addicted to these. I've got quite the collection now. I really do love them. And I'm one of those people that once I find something I like, I will buy it in every colour, and I really dread the day that it's discontinued. This is pretty similar to Berry Smoothie in that it's got glitter particles in that give a nice high shine, that give it a nice high gloss finish. Um, there is a swatch for you there. This was recommended by a YouTube friend, and I wore it pretty much for the last two weeks in July, um, and it featured in my July favourites as well. How many lip products, including balms and glosses, do you currently have in your handbag? Well, I've actually been really, really good lately about only carrying one lip product at a time in my bag. And I'm really proud of myself for doing that because there was a time when I could clear out my handbag and just be pulling out lip products after lip product. It was like a clown car with like lots and lots and lots of lipsticks in my bag. So I'm really pleased that I'm only carrying one lip product around with me at the moment. What lipstick do you use to rock a red lip? Well, I've previously said I think it's really hard to beat a Chanel red lipstick. My favorite one is the shade Passion. This is one of the Rouge Allure lipsticks. I mean, how can you not feel really special using that? This swatch for you there. It's a great suit everyone lip colour. But I've also been really, really impressed with the Rimmel Apocalypse or Show Off Glosses as they're called in the US and the shade Big Bang in particular, which is what I'm wearing on my lips at the moment. Doe foot applicator, really easy to apply. They're pretty high maintenance. You need to take a mirror with you if you're wearing these on your lips because chances are you're going to get them on your teeth. But nonetheless, really, really impressed with these and I think they're a fantastic value for money product. Definitely one of my drugstore launches of the year and one of my drugstore lip picks. Next question is how do you store your lipsticks? I'm not really that happy with how I store my lipsticks. I've just got them in these sort of cheap basket, cheap plastic baskets. Um, 
it's not ideal because I'd rather have them so that you could see the names um, so they were standing up but I haven't been able to find a better solution and I store them by colour so for example these are my red lipsticks I've got another one of nudes so on and the last question is what lip products are you currently lusting after the new autumn colours are really starting to appeal to me I've seen that I've seen that YSL are launching a shade called Prune Avenue and on the swatches I've seen online it looks beautiful. Um, I haven't seen it in real life yet so I don't know if it lives up to those swatches. I also hear that Rimmel Apocalypse are bringing out some new shades, I believe around five. And because I've been so impressed with them so far then I'll be really intrigued to check those out as well. And I still haven't tried those L'Oreal products, I can't remember what they're called. Um, the ones that everyone says are a dupe for the YSL glossy stain, so I'd like to try those. And I also really want to try Maybelline Colour Whispers. I don't think you can get them here in the UK as yet. But to be honest, I need new lip products like a hole in the head, so maybe it's no big problem that they're not available over here. Okay, so who do I tag? There's quite a few people that I'd like to tag. I think this is a really fun tag, and I'd love to see a few of you do it. I tag Petite Pear Style, who enabled me to get this Peach Parfait lip butter. Carly Jean X. Ashley Elizabeth or Romanian Butterfly, I'm not too sure what's going on with all the new YouTube names. Um, Modern Martha, Jemima Lou, Talk Becky Talk, Cass Makeup, Amelia Liana, Beauty Source, Crystal is 007, Redhead PhD, The Blushed Beauty, and anyone else that would like to do this tag as well. I hope that you've enjoyed watching. If you're not already subscribed, then please do so. There's a button just below. And don't forget to check out Be Beautiful Blog 1 as well, who tagged me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all soon. Bye.